Hey YouTube, what is up everybody? You know, I'm going to do a tough video about a book I've been reading on. I know, I know, I told you that I've learned a lot out of this book. I only have two more chapters left in this book. Um, it's taught me on how to, um, kind of live the code of the samurai in a way because it's Masashi's sorry if I pronounce the name wrong on the Japanese um, Masashi's the Kudo the way of walking alone by Miyo, Miyo, Miyamoto Masashi, Masashi. forward by Dan Anderson Now, it was weird. I was reading out this book the other day. And it was the day after my grandpa's uh, funeral. And I came across a chapter of Do Not Fear Death. thinking on my grandpa a lot, you know, after the funeral, after he passed away and everything, and I came across that, you know, I came across that chapter in that book, like, that book had that chapter, like, just ready for me, and it said, do not fear death, because I read the chapter, and it said, If you fear death, you'll be a coward your whole life. But if you don't fear death, you're not afraid of anything. I don't fear death. I don't fear death at all. I, I've cheated death so many times. I should have been dead a long time ago. But it wasn't my time to go. But, on that chapter, it said, do not fear death, because if you fear death, you are wasting your time and your valuable life of the fear of dying. And that actually made sense. Masashi is right. You know, a samurai would not go into battle, you know, and fight, you know, for honor. That's right. A samurai would not go out into battle to fight without honor. To not even fear death. Man, to, to fear death. If you did, if you didn't have honor, and if you feared death, he already lost the battle. But on Masashi's turn, um, and his own words on how I, how it took over me, <laughs> was. Do not fear death. Do not fear dying when getting old. Why? Because in the afterlife, whatever you may believe in, if you believe there's a heaven, you'll go to heaven. If you don't, then you don't believe it but my perspective is that pretty much my perspective of not fearing death 
is basically, you know, with my grandpa passing away and everything, I pretty much, you know, come to realize, you know, hey, that chapter was just a sign for me, you know, saying, hey, don't fear death. And, you know, everything's going to be all right. Because when you reach that age, you know, you're going to be in the same boat. So, that message kind of hit me a little bit when I, when I read out of that chapter. And it, it was just like, it was just weird. But when I was thinking of the samurai perspective, back to the samurai perspective. <laughs> now, as you all know, oh no, samurai fight with honor. Pride, dignity, you know, if they fail, they fight with shame. If they lose, it, you know, if they don't commit, you know, the Hikari on them and where their opponent and up before they die, they chop off their heads. Well, me, if I would have been a samurai, I wouldn't fear death. I face death at all. I fight with honor and pride and all at the same time. But the samurai they fought for survival, which you no, know, before they went out to battle, they fought for survival. They didn't have set patterns. They didn't have drills that they worked on. They went out and they did what worked for them. They did not, you know, have a set system like most sword fighters do. You know, they'll do like a set of drills, you know, to sharpen their techniques and, you know, call it their own schooling. And then they'll say, oh, they're a master at this style or whatever of sword fighting. And then they'll end up, you know, saying that it's their art. But the thing of it is, people, is that samurai they fought to the death. They fought with honor. They didn't fear death. Now, some of them did. But if you fear death, in battle, you lose the battle. But if you don't fear death in the battle, you want the battle. That's like with everyday life. You know, instead of just throwing in the towel because your life sucks or, you know, you know, it's just like that. In that scenario, you know, most people say, oh, they have a crappy life. Oh, they, you know, feel pity and everything else on them. Boo hoo hoo, poor me, or whatever. And well, my perspective is you know, they want to throw in the tap. They don't want to live that life. My perspective, on how I see it, is not to throw in the tap. <coughs> not to throw in the towel <coughs> excuse me not to throw in the towel that's right not throw in the towel to keep fighting life like it was a samurai battle until the end because that's how you have art. You got to face life head on. I mean, you cannot throw in the towel, you know, and not be your best. Man, you shouldn't fear death. But if you do fear death, that's just being normal, being human. And everything else. If you didn't fear death, 
You know, if you didn't know it already, <coughs> damn, excuse me. If you didn't know where you, if you went, <coughs> damn, excuse me. Um, if you didn't know where, where you went and everything else in the afterlife or heaven or even if there is a hell. But nobody knows. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Nobody knows where they go. After they die. Me. Since I believe. In. <coughs> excuse me. Damn. Hold on, I'll be right back, guys. I'll be right back. But... You know, if you don't know where you're going after you die, uh, let's say if you didn't know if he was going to heaven or he was going to hell, or if there even is a heaven or hell. But it's on what you believe. You know, if you believe there's a heaven and a hell, on what you've been raised by, on your beliefs when you're younger and stuff like that, then yeah, you'll go to heaven if you do good. But if you make a sin, you go to hell. Well, my perspective of uh, do not fear death is fight it like how a samurai would in battle. Fight, fight life with honor, respect, being humble, being kind to other people, you know, doing what is right at all times. And even if you make a mistake, own up to it. Just say, man, I really fucked up. Man, I really fucked up, you know? And just own up to it. And then once you end up Realizing that you fucked up in that situation. And. Well. You gotta turn around and make it where it's right. Or try to fix it where you did. Where you don't make that mistake. Or continue to make that mistake. That's how you fight life head on. It's on the choices you make and the actions you take. Just like on how a samurai, you know, goes into battle, you know, where without facing, you know, the fear of facing death. You know, it's the choices that he makes on who, who he wants to draw the sword on. And who he wants to slice up with the blade. And then before he draws it back into the sheath, that he carries the blade in. So... It's kind of like that perspective. But except you don't carry a sword on you every day. You know, you carry your mind, but you gotta, you know. Masashi's way is more of like either with the sword or without the sword. 
You know, you can fight a battle without using any weapons. You can use your mouth, the word of mouth, for self-defense. You don't have to use your fists, even though these are swords. You know, these can be proclaimed as swords because you can do bodily harm on somebody with with your fists. Even your feet, your elbows, whatever it may be. But you fight with life at all. You don't throw the towel. You don't say, I give up. You don't, you know, do a cop out or whatever. You know, basically you say, hey, I'm done. No. You hit, you face life like a samurai and hit it. Fight it straight on. Keep moving forward. And but like a warrior. I said, quit being a pussy and, you know, be a poor, pitiful me. Why can't I do things right? Just man up to your mistakes in life. Just learn from them. And be happy with yourself. Love yourself. Show respect to yourself. Also show respect to others. Be kind to one another. And... Be humble and everything else. And just man up to life and don't fear. Because when we all get old, we die. So that's just how I see it and everything else. Seven on four, starting out. Think of this, you gotta think like a samurai. How would a samurai fight in this life? Who would fight it to the very end. He would not give up his sword or his will to, to not fight. That's all I'm saying. Seventh on board. Signing out. Please hit the like. Hit subscribe.